Okay. Is every all the cameras rolling? Always. <laughs> Clearly. Aloha and welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai and that's Brooklyn. Hey. Uh, we got a special guest today. Yes, Like we, we do. do every show. Well, yes. He's a, she's but a good she's friend of yours. But she's extra special because yeah. she's a sister from the Miss USA system. She's a former so. Miss uh, USA. Yes. What, what's, uh, what state? Mm, I want to say no. Maryland. Maryland. I was going <laughs> to say D.C. But because your family is like in the area. But she has know. a deep resume. And one of the yeah. things that I really like, she's a NCAA uh, college All-American yeah. from UCLA, ladies and gentlemen. She played volleyball there. She also has a new wine out. Yes. Um, I believe it's kale. called Herbal Wine. Or is it a Herbal? Well, the name herbal? of it is Kale. It's called Kale. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podcast, Nana Mer Merriweather. Hi. How are you? Uh, thanks for having me. No, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming. Oh, yes. How long? Have, how long have you guys known each other now? Long time. Yeah. Since my pageant days, like ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we see each other at events here and there, and then we judged one year when the whole world fell apart and yeah. they needed judges, yeah, and they right. called us to be the Avengers, and we all showed up. Nice. Um, to how judge. nice is that? Yeah. But that well, you fun. you still playing volleyball? I am not. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> My body doesn't work like it used to, but I do enjoy jogging. Yeah. What, what um, position did you play? I was a middle blocker. I was one of the uh, the shortest middle blockers in what was then the Pac-10. Yeah. It's the Pac-12 now. Um, but I used to jump really high to make up for my. How, how tall are you? I'm six one, but most that of the girls were six yeah, and up. Of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah. I played uh, volleyball in high school and I, I went to a small Amazing. school and our middle was five ten. Wow. Yeah. She was short for yeah. middle. <laughs> we always used to play the University of Hawaii every single yes. year. It was a big tradition between UCLA and right. University of Hawaii. It was my favorite time of year to travel to yeah. play yeah. you guys. Yeah. And and I think uh we beat you most of those years. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that you're making that no, up. No, Hawaii is such a big volleyball state, Huge. as you know. Huge. I'm sure yeah. they, they, they tell all the teams when you come into the arena that the stand sheriff to be prepared. Because it's yeah. usually a sellout, especially women's volleyball. Well, aren't there local <laughs> kids? Local kids go to U UCLA, right? Lots. To play. Do they play? Did you have any local people playing on the team that year? We you... do not have any Hawaiians, mm. but it is very much a, a sport dominated by Hawaiians. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 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 you guys yeah. were always inspiring and really fun to play with. Yeah. 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 I think the men's team gets a lot of. I, there was one yeah. year, I think there were four starters on the UCLA men's team from Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. It's such a fun, uh, fun thing, though, because UCLA and Hawaii were the two biggest at the time, yeah. biggest yes. as far as uh, audience participation, mm -hmm. crowds. For sure. Right? For sure. Is yeah. it like football where it was like Wyoming and UH football? Was it a like rivalry type of sitch? Or? Yeah, I, I think so. And I mm -hmm. think it's because, yeah. I mean, it was UCLA and then you had like uh, uh, Washington teams and Loyola. Yeah. And, uh, but UCLA was a big one. Yeah, at the time, the coaches, too, had such a legacy um, that they yes. played against each other for years. Uh, yeah. So it was just an old tradition to, for us both to play with each other. And we draw the biggest crowds. And, yeah. Who was your coach uh, at the time? Andy Banikowski. Uh, yes. And so it was Shoji. Oh, it was Shoji's yeah. era. And he yeah. had, your coach Legend. had like a million wins, too, or something. Yeah. Right? <laughs> at the time, we had the most national championships. And yes. I, Hawaii had a lot, too. But oh. I think Stanford took us over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stanford was the other rival. Those Stanford people. <laughs> <laughs> so so you're, doing, you're doing wine now. I am. I know. I've lived many lives. Many since lives. Volleyball. Yes. <laughs> you have to. You're um, an entrepreneur. It yeah. sounds like. Yes. Um. I. I have started a wine company. I. I also have a day job. Yeah. I work in tech in blockchain for the founder of Ethereum, which mm -hmm. is the second biggest coin behind Bitcoin. Oh my gosh! Um, you you got to help me. Yeah. I have. A, I have a wallet that I can't get into. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so you're rich. She, no, no. I, did you hear that story about the guy who had like 96 million Everyone's stuck in his... Everyone's heard right? that story. And yeah. he can't remember his that, key or whatever. That's me. So about, yeah. about six years ago, I bought like $1,200 worth of Bitcoin. Mm. Yes. I don't know what it's worth now because it's stuck in the wallet. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'll, my, I will make it my day job to find your password. <laughs> I, will, for the I, will, I will give you 20% if oh, you can help me get I into mean, that. Okay. I mean, okay. That's on <laughs> tape, people. 20% that's, that's I will give you. That's on the video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And if you Brooke, can, we have a new calling. I guess so. And if you can break the chain and get it out in the next 60 days, I'll give you 25%. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is it. <laughs> it's getting better oh, and better. Oh my life. I can retire finally. Yeah. I mean, if people don't follow you gotta follow her because like I follow her on like Facebook and the socials and what's whatever. your what's your social media Instagram it's, easy. it's just my name Nana Merriweather okay yeah we're gonna follow you follow it's like us its back. own series uh, I mean not to be dramatic but like she has like gone through so many yeah. iterations in New York yeah. it's like a sex in the city like yeah. video like a whole but it's yeah. for real yeah just so you know Nana I'm gonna follow you you have to follow me back Brooke amazing does, I'll follow you back Brooke doesn't follow anybody she gives me so yeah. much crap no. she's too good to follow <laughs> It's not I'm, I'm too good. Love. I, just, I love you already. I'm too uh -huh. old. <laughs> You're not too old. Please. Uh, so th what's the name of your wine? Sure. It's called Kale. And I'm bringing back an ancient tradition of uh, an, a way of making wine that the ancient Egyptians, Romans, Greeks, Chinese. Used oh, to that a is lot so. Um, wait, oh, let's hold that thought. We got to take a quick break. We'll talk about this when we come back. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. <laughs> Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Nana is hanging out with us today talking about your new wine and you're, you're going back to some traditions you said. What are you doing? Yes, so the way we make wine is in a nutshell, we make wine out of flowers. Um, we use herbs and botanicals as a way to create uh, this new way of drinking. This new but ancient way of drinking. Uh -huh. um, we're producing out of Napa Valley. Um, and our first release is hibiscus wine. Wow. So what we're doing is we're infusing Pinot Noir, which is very soft, um, yeah. great, where hibiscus is a very strong uh, apparent herb. And yeah, it, I, I love the way it tastes. And it's, it's so cool because hibiscus is making a huge comeback in teas. Yeah. Everyone's doing a hibiscus tea mm. and it's very healthy and nutritionist. It's really good for you. So you can have your hibiscus tea in the morning and then uh -huh. your hibiscus tea at night. See? No, so how, how are you I'm doing? Sorry, your hibiscus wine at night. Are, are you <laughs> actually infusing hi hibiscus or how is it working? Yeah, we use our real organic herbs. We're using non-GMO wine grapes. Um, the ingredients are super minimal. There's over 80 additives that winemakers add to wine. Yeah. We're trying to keep it really raw and clean and kind of like a, a natural wine. Um, so it comes out really tasty, light bodied. As I said, we ferment it to dry, so the sugar's super low. The calories are low because the alcohol is low as well. Um, just a feel good. I like to call it my weekday wine. Yeah. Um, something to sip on during the week when I have stuff to do in the morning. And then on weekends, I'll have my mezcal and whatever else. So are you, do are you doing just the Pinot Noir? Are you doing a white or are you doing anything else? So, yeah, we're starting with the hibiscus Pinot Noir. And uh -huh. then there's so many fun herbs and plants and botanicals to use, including in the fall, we want to try for an elderberry wine. Ooh. Um, and in winter, there's a really sexy aphrodisiac like herb called Damiana uh -huh. and we're gonna make a sparkling wine out of that. Ooh. Is that is that like uh is it another name for it maca? Is that the same thing? Oh maca is another really good herb to fortify your hormones and uh, especially men. I gotta I tell you, I was gonna um, say here we go. I, I was reading because I take maca every day. Yeah. It's good for yeah. it's good for testosterone. And it I was is. reading something about it just a couple days ago and I was thinking they should put this in wine. Like it would be oh, a there great you go. are you doing it? Now I mean you're 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 inspiring me to yeah because yeah. you will sell bottles to men over fifty. Well, this is what I think should happen. I think when you you're go hired. do when you do your pop ups and you go I'll, I'll eat, serve your wine. You guys should yeah. do a pairing with the wine with so, the herbals. No, no, I'm oh, doing I'm doing some pop up dinners in the bay in June, oh, and I'd love fun. to do. Do you have just the Pinot just right now? Just now, yeah, we have the hibiscus. Okay, let's, let's talk. Maybe yeah, I'll make we'll, a special. We'll feature it. We'll feature it for the dinner because we always try to find local wine companies and try to help feature their wines. Oh, and 
that's and fantastic. Yeah, Thank we'll you. do we'll I'd do a tasting to together. Yeah, because this whole herbal situation that she's talking about, like like I said, I stalk her online. She went down <laughs> rabbit holes. Yeah. Okay, because she was like yeah. in herbals for a while, and she was like, and that was all just part of yeah. spirituality. And then they yeah. decided to try to do wines with it, uh-huh. and then it was like yeah. trial and error, and they were like yeah. burning pineapple can... rinds wow. in the middle yeah, of like. Yeah, the, yeah. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, I was Go following back. all of it, all of Go it. Way back. Yeah. yeah during quarantine i was super productive um it's really like I, I was in the north fork of new york working out of a distillery product developing and we would try so many different ways to make this and um came up with a way a formula and process and then production happened out in napa valley are you doing so, it yeah. on a the, i know you have to be a, a certified uh, vineyard for bio mm-hmm. i forget the word yeah. is it what's it called uh biodynamic so biodynamic I Yes, I, I haven't yet been able to source biodynamic grapes, but I'm an aspirational brand for, you know, organic wine. Okay. Um, just making it as super healthy as I can. Right now, my ingredients are um, as as healthy as I can make them. And then as I continue to grow, for sure, I'm looking to make it. And, and one of the big reasons for those who are wondering what that means is, like, when you make grapes or you're crushing grapes at your vineyard, there's mm-hmm. spillage or you dump uh, mm-hmm. waste or what have you. And if you dump wine or 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 the, the stems or the seeds or anything into the soil, mm. people think you can just dump it back into the soil. It takes all the oxygen out of it, so it ruins mm. the soil. Uh. So you have to be consciously correct. Your vineyard has to be correctly done, yes. your waste and all that, right? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot to do with sustainability in the wine people industry. People don't understand it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, give you, I give you credit. Are you, are you enjoying this process? I am enjoying the process um, right now. I'm I'm everything. I'm the CFO, the CEO. I water the plants. I you know do. I do the dish. Like it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. But I'm looking to raise money sometime this summer um, with the traction I've built, and so hopefully I can start hiring. Do you have a bottle near you so we can see the label? Yeah, I, I sure do. Once okay, wait. We're gonna take a quick break. You go. You, we're gonna take a quick break. When you come back, we're gonna take a look at this uh, at this bottle. Okay. Nana's hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for eight years in a row. Call them at 808-951-9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Nana is hanging out with us and going to show us your uh, new bottle of wine here. Go Ooh, ahead. Here it is. Ta-da. There you I, go. It kind of reminds me of like an apothecary bottle. Go a little bit closer. Uh, I'm a little bit closer to the camera. There yeah. you go. You're getting a little glare. Oh, Kale with a C. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kale with a C. Congratulations. We have information on the tradition of making herbal wine and... Yeah, it's a cute little bottle. There's no, there's not a lot of herbal wines being. Since we're sharing, I'm going to show you oh, mine. Look at him showing off for this a second. Is, uh, this is mine. Ooh. Brooke was wow. supposed to be on the label, but Here she doesn't want to do we it. Go. Oh, so. she wants you. She wants the residual. No, oh, no. Contract, Brooke. no her, her religion her. won't allow it. <laughs> Love but, her. but it's okay. I might do a uh, non-alcoholic. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I'll put you on the... Could I do, put you on the label for what non-alcoholic? What does non-alcoholic wine look like? It's just non-alcohol. Isn't it just juice? Isn't, yeah. it, yeah. isn't that Welch's? Grape, grape juice. It's Welch's. Yeah, and, and okay. it's, <laughs> Jesus drank it. Yeah. I, you know what? I think what you're doing is what Jesus drank back in the day. I think she's doing what Jesus yeah. drank. That's what I just said. Yeah. I think what you're yeah. doing, you're right? It's herbal. Right. Yeah. Very much in, in, in ancient times... Uh, because um, you know herbs were available, they'd use they'd ferment herbs in order to especially fortify health. Water wasn't that safe to drink, so they'd ferment it, uh-huh. um, especially with medicinal herbs. And during the German Purity Act is when we forgot all about the botanicals we used to use, and only hops survived. Yes, I'm sure you've heard of hoppy beers. Yes. Hops are actually a plant. And they're sedative. That's why sometimes when you drink coffee beers, you're like, okay, I need a nap. <laughs> yes. Um, get you to sleep. Uh, those are the only herbs that have survived. But I'm trying to, you know, re-educate and reintroduce uh, to everyone that you can use botanicals in beer and wine making processes. Yeah. Well, one of the stories I hear a lot is when, like, the first missionaries or the first British came to America, they they didn't have water, so they a lot of them drank wine, mm. and they yeah. didn't know how long these journeys were going to be. You know, there were like yeah. six month journeys. And by the fourth month, they ran out of wine. Mm. A lot yeah. of these people and they died. I like um, yeah. half the people who traveled to America died before they got right, here. Right. You know, yeah. but but it was so important that you had wine in those days. 
Yeah, because right? the alcohol is a preservative and yeah. it's, you know, even the yeast that you, you use to ferment also help, you know, create an environment and culture within the bottle that can last for months, um, years. So it's, it's a, a, in those times, a better option than water sometimes. Yeah. Do you live up north in California? I go back and forth. Um, I Since October of 2019, in order to afford building the startup, I haven't had an apartment. So I've been hopping around. Oh. Um, when it's time to make my wine, I'm out in Napa uh -huh. or LA. Um, I'm currently in New York. Uh, we did our first run in January and launched in late February. So now I'm on more of the sales side. Okay. Um, we launched direct to consumer and now we're looking for distribution and continuing to grow. How long do you let it, how long are you barreling or, or letting it sit in the, in the bottle? Are you selling right yeah, away? So uh, we let it sit for about a month. It's it's a very ready to drink. I, okay. I used to work in fashion, and so it's like, I like to be like ready to wear. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great term. Yeah, ready yeah. to drink. Yeah. But it's it's a very light, beautiful wine, and different ways to drink it. Um, you know, wine and spirits just covered it. That it's also kind of like a cocktail yeah. drink. Um, in that you could, you know, put muddled or sweet fruits in there. You can top it up with like a little spritz of champagne. You can serve it chilled or straight up. Sangria. I like to decant it and let in some oxygen. Uh, um, and that lets the flavors open up, um, especially the hibiscus can come off really strong at first when you open the bottle. But if you let it breathe, I mean, it's just fantastic. It's so perfect for Hawaii. It's perfect do for you, here. It do, is. Do you have a distributor here? No, let's um, work on something. Well, send me, a, you know what you do? This is a business meeting. Send me, <laughs> send me three bottles. All right. Okay, honestly. Well, no, no, no. Like tomorrow, send me three bottles. One for me to taste, and I'm going to get the other two to my distributor. And we just oh had we oh, just had a sommelier. That. We just had a sommelier on the show. That's who I'm going to get it to. Yeah. Oh, and he uh, does all oh the he does all the hotels yeah. in town. And, and we'll get you on restaurants. his show. He has a show called Wine End. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is so amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. See? You know, it's very hard to enter the wine business. It's such a, you know. It's crazy. Legacy industry. Yeah. Uh, oh. And especially when you're doing something different. Yeah. A lot of wine. Wine shops are like, what? You're putting wine or herbs yeah. in your wine? How yeah. dare you? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's well, it's you know the next, you know the next milk. herb you're gonna have to put in there, and you're gonna sell millions Here as soon as it gets clear. About six years ago, I was on a vineyard in Central Coast where I make my wine, mm. and there was a bunch of guys. A lot of winemakers are potheads. Like 98% of them are potheads. It's medicinal. Um, it is medicinal in California, and they they started and putting legal. they started putting bud inside of the barrel. What? Yeah, and and letting yeah. it soak because they didn't know how the process was going to be at first. Uh -huh. you know, I'm talking about eight years ago now. Right. And uh, how'd it go? Oh my gosh! I I promise to God, you can only drink a half a glass. The one yeah. I had. It's a lot, one. huh? It's yeah. skunky. It's it was one pound um, of bud to one yeah. barrel, and one barrel yeah. is I don't know, 20 cases or something like that. Wow. So yeah. if you can imagine it getting broken down, but I had one glass. Right. You're like, I'm good. Uh, take me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> take me to the hospital. Who am I? Yeah. <laughs> so but my question is, have you been experiencing with CBD in, in your wine? That's a great question. I have found that market to be super noisy and cluttered. Uh, so I wanted to enter with more or different herbs. But certainly uh, there's new research coming out that even psychedelics in ancient times were made into wine, yes. especially through this book called The Immortality Key mm -hmm. by Brian Murascu. You did your um, homework, girl. Oh, she's no joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's an academic who has archaeological evidence that, yes, we were using psychoactive plants and um, mushrooms. You know, yeah, mushrooms yep. and herbs that change your state. Um, and it was through ceremony and um, really meaningful tradition that these these more, you know, psychoactive yeah. herbs were incorporated into you wine. You know what I love about Nana is because Miss USA, well, and like Miss USA is like a caveat, like for yeah. her, like she's been, she did so many other things, but like, I like to let her loose on people when they're like, oh, there's a Miss USA here. I'm like, yeah. Nana, Nana, you're up. Yeah. Nana, you're up. Go, go girl. Take it to yeah. the wall. Take them to the wall. UCLA them, go. What, did, what, what was your degree at UCLA? So I studied political science. Uh -oh. And then, as I said, I played volleyball there and went on to play professionally and trained for the Olympics uh -huh. in Colorado Springs. And then I retired at like 22. <laughs> um, yeah. but then I, <laughs> I went on to the University of Southern California, USC, and I did postgraduate work in pre-medical sciences. So I randomly know organic chemistry and calculus. That's and amazing. All this 
But winemaking is an application of science. Yo, it's, it's science 100%. Yeah, People don't science. realize. I, I have winemaker friends that you look at them and you go, is the guy a pothead or what is yeah. he, a drunk or what? And then you talk oh. to him and it's like, oh my gosh, Big Bang yeah. Theory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if yeah. they taught chemistry in the context yes. of winemaking, so many more people would be in STEM. Yes. It's all just chemistry. It is. <laughs> It's very. That's chemistry. a new campaign for STEM, yeah, right there. Yeah. And then you go into but, their little rooms where they blend, and there's chemistry sets yeah. everywhere. You yes, know? People correct. think we just you just squash your feet with them. I got <laughs> I got intrigued and involved in it when I first went to Italy when I was like 21. Um, yeah. But, but what fascinated me was how the how they came up with it because that yes. whole process people don't realize it takes years and uh, you know time mm -hmm. and blah blah blah. But mm -hmm. I commend you. For doing Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. And to you too. Starting a wine business is no not joke. an easy thing. It's There's like, so many regulations. It's so like my well seventh, done on It's your like end. my seventh year and I haven't made a dollar yet. <laughs> no, we're in this together. Yeah. We're gonna do this. Yeah. It, it people <laughs> and you gotta realize that bottling that whole thing and shipping to Hawaii, yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. There's a lot. That's why Amazon's so big. Once you figure out logistics, it's like yeah. that's the, the most expensive part for sure. Are we saying buy already? No, we got one more. Oh, yeah, we're saying bye already. Oh, wow. You're so subtle. Well, we, she's such a good conversation. <laughs> I it told just kind you. of flies by Never here. believes me when I book people. Well, we have show. a gift for you because we have to say goodbye already, yes. I'm told. Oh. Yeah. So, ADTs is like the um, hipster thing to have here in Hawaii, and they yeah. are a great. Oh, so, we're going to send you these. That's so, when you're like, making oh, your wine. You. you like pink? Pink, okay? You I love pink. And I live in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. It's so hipster. I'm going to Oh, say. great restaurants over there. Everybody going to be yeah. like, where you got your shirt from? Such amazing yeah, restaurants in it. Brooklyn. Next time I come, I'm calling you. We got to go to a restaurant. You're doing really? pop ups together. Oh, so. yeah. Okay, so, Ju so, June, where are you going to be at the end of June? I'll be anywhere you need me to. <laughs> <laughs> boom, businesswoman, boom. All right, well, let's see if we can get you on uh, one of our dinners for there sure. Amazing, go. I would yeah. love that. That'd be so special. So the next one I think we're doing is at the Naked Kitchen. It's this beautiful old Victorian house, um, and it's oh, right wow. in the city. It's in the Mission in San Amazing. Francisco. Okay. Oh my God. But I'll get oh, your... we're we're going to YouTube's. Yo, yeah. We're, well, Don't go say, anywhere. I'm gonna say bye we're going to say now, bye to TV. But if you want to catch yeah. the extended version of this conversation, please YouTube. subscribe to our channel. It's a Hawaii thing. Uh, leave a comment and hit the like button. Nana, congratulations on all your success. Buy some kale. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome nice. back to It's a Hawaii Thing. <laughs> Brooklyn, I'm Lanai. We have Nana hanging out with us. Uh, she's a winemaker. She's a yeah, Miss. Yeah, you guys Miss, are bonded now. Bonded by Miss the USA. great. Bonded uh, by the UCLA great. UCLA All American volleyball player. She does it all. Does it all. Are you married? You have kids? No, that's another thing. Why I'm on the show? You should hook me up with some of your friends. Oh, don't say it. Now you're gonna have everybody in my DMs. A hundred. <laughs> like you don't got everybody in your DMs. <laughs> anyway. okay. as, as Brooke said on my social media, I I chronicle Chronicles my dating. Chronicles. <laughs> I, I find this hard Page to believe. Page turners. Page turners. I, you're not dating at all right now. I am. There's some fellas, but don't yeah. tell them. But okay. they all think there's one. Oh, <laughs> one of those. Okay. It's all good. You have the power. You have the power. Oh, to she do does. It. Trust me. Yeah. What What's your uh, What's your side hobby? Is there anything that people would be shocked that you like to do or? Um. I I think that as I said, I work uh, in blockchain. Yeah. So I think people at work would be shocked to know that on the side I'm making wine. Um, okay. Before that, I worked at Harper's Bazaar, yeah. which is actually America's first fashion magazine. Yes. It's even older than Vogue. So I have a, I have an interest in fashion and um, just storytelling through creation and, and content. Um, I worked for a really really legendary editor in chief who was simultaneously an amazing businesswoman and mm -hmm. she taught me how to you know create content that is meaningful nice um, super inspired by her i love to write um, uh -huh. i was born there yeah are you writing a book i should yes you I should mean, that's another thing we need to work on you you're really just hired should. as my agent <laughs> you have good ideas no you, you know do them all. i you know you when you are have a title that you have and the experiences that you have i've been trying to encourage all my friends especially entrepreneurs and yeah. her like she has so many stories that's your good that's your retirement because yeah, when, one once, you, once you have the book you're going to be speak doing speaking engagements everywhere she does them anyways I, I know but now you can double time. your fee ah. uh, but you should really you because right now it's fresh in your mind 
You should yes. be writing all of these things down. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure oh. she's documented. You have books. I do. You have books, oh, yeah? she, does Brooke, I don't. No. no, 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 no. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm still figuring out an ending. That's why. So, I like that. Yeah. Yes. What do you I, mean I the ending? I don't know where to you land. Miss Universe. What kind yeah. of ending do you need? We're not going to get into the politics of situations, but I thought I had a book, and then a guy I worked for became president, and then I was like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Okay. And then we survived that. And so yeah. now I'm just like, I don't know where to land. Like, I you know, Well, yeah. I think your book should end when you are crowned Miss Universe because those stories for that whole year where you traveled and all of that, that's what people want to know. Inquiring yeah. minds want to know. Oh. So, so when you won Miss Miss Hawaii, yeah. people want to know how did you, that whole year from Miss Hawaii to Miss, Miss Universe. U, you, no, Miss USA. Got it. And then we want to know what you do from Miss USA to become Miss Universe. Right. That's two, three years of great stories that no one knows about. That's not two or three years. That all happened in the same year. Okay, that's one year of great stories that people want to know about. <laughs> Right? Am I wrong? I want to know. I was, you know, I, it, it may be like it, the storytelling may be specific to pageants, but I found that even the skills we learned on stage yes. are so applicable to everything else. Yes. Yeah. So it's even grander context. So yes, write a book. See, I'll buy it. We're, yeah. we're connected here. You're you not guys are following totally, me. I don't get like for me, it's like everything started for me when I won Miss Universe because I was from a tiny little island and then my whole world exploded and my mind exploded. And then from the time I won Miss Universe to giving it up to surviving, giving it up and then everything that's happened after that. It's the surviving of the title, is it not? But, but that's the is story, Brooke. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's the story. Yeah, no, no. When she won, when she won <laughs> Miss, when she won Miss Hawaii, we kept in contact because she was mm -hmm. part of my show. So I'm like, sorry, we were friends from before every, that. I know, but okay. what I'm saying is, from every week she would come on and be, like, "Where are you?" And she, there was no cell phones at the time, and she, I remember you called me from a plane. From an airplane, yeah. And you know, I was like, "You're yeah. where?" She's like, "I'm on a plane. It's I a phone. You can, you can call on a plane." Oh and I'm going to <laughs> Nigeria to save the kids or something like that. But, <laughs> but you got, you got to tell these stories, <laughs> right? And, they, and I'm like, it it's costing twenty five dollars a minute, but I don't care. I'm yeah. using the no. credit card from the from the <laughs> those you are see? stories you know pageants i think that instagram has made everyone some sort of yeah. miss something right 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 but those are old stories mm -hmm. that pageant like winners and title holders now don't live yeah right I, and i'd be i'd be so interested to hear see, your Brooke? story Oh, your title See, we're going to bug her. I've been bugging her for the last 10 years. He's just on a, a platform because he just wrote a book. And so yeah. he's like oh. on his high horse. Ooh. No, but so. I but I told you this a long time ago. Superior conference. Because I want to know these these uh, amazing stories. Like we, Brooke books a lot of our guests for this show. And I'm like, where did you <laughs> Where'd you find this My one? My Rolodex and, is and, yeah. deep. And, uh -huh. But there's a story attached to every single one of the people that she's booked, you know, and nobody that. knows all this. Well, you do. Have I inspired you yet? No. Yeah. <laughs> Nana, help me out here. You gotta yeah. have, she's gotta come to Hawaii with the have wine Have you been too. to Hawaii yet? I, I have through volleyball, but I haven't come for fun, you know. Yeah, because it's be pandemics and we're yeah. in pandemics. Well, right so, now yeah. the prices are really good to fly here. You are you are, are you can... vaccinated? Are they, are they doing that on that side? This week, I'm I'm gonna start start your. So whole what process. I'll do is you tell me when I'll set you up on a couple different wine shows and podcasts and dates. And dates. Dates are um, dates are given. That's like, an inferred. Do you like shorter guys? He has. She, I like anyone. She you know, has to. She's really six one. Well, you know, <laughs> I know I dated a volleyball player for a long time. You probably played against her at UH. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but she was like funny. three inches taller than me. Um, oh. And, and people thought people thought that was weird. I think I didn't think it was like, weird. Whatever. Yeah, I She's like not. it. It's like climbing trees. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, when you lay down, you're the same size. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> threw up in my mouth again. I threw up in my mouth again. Do you get this that current? Good. Yeah. Good, right? Yeah. Great. All right. Awesome. We'll, we'll go on a date first. Nope. And then I'll, okay. see, I'll see who I'll it's set you up with after. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Put that out there right there. Don't listen to her. Draw in the lines. Don't listen to her. Draw in the lines. <laughs> nope. Boy, I've been supporting you your whole career. You never nope. support I'm me on anything. I'm wingmanning my girl right now. Yeah, nope. Oh, gosh. I you, Negatron. I, I thought you were my wingman. Negatron. No, but I'll set up some tape things for you and the shows for Amazing. you you tell me when but you gotta Amazing. like put aside like three or four days at least you know I what mean, I mean darn, to get the... three or four days yeah in Hawaii, Hawaii. Yeah. bend my arm <laughs> twist my arm twist and then, my arm and then I'll set you up with a couple of the distributors too because oh, I think the way I think that wine would do well here because perfect. people yeah. like that sort of you know it's your flower and it's the flower of yeah. the island. And I think yeah. one of the things I'm you know I'm not trying to step in your lane or anything, but one of the things you might want to think about is a rosé 
because mm -hmm. rosés are it's so popular right now it's so drinkable but yeah. everybody in hawaii drinks it with fish i understand oh that's interesting yes. I, ha I have been thinking about a rosé and the herb i would pair it with is roses so. <gasps> that's what i'm saying it's, and roses yeah. are so they're so healing yes. and you know everything yeah. about roses well because maui's sure. rose the lokilani rose yes. is the rose of the island of maui and then maybe so. that's you you call it kale lokilani yeah. Um, oh, that's beautiful. You know what so, I mean? You name it after the uh And there's, the you know, beautiful vineyards that. on Maui yeah. and places to go. And then my chemo oh. over here can do a photo shoot for you here in Hawaii the best, with all the, the hibiscuses here. and oh, the yes. wine yes, please. with the beach. It's going to happen. Oh. How many are you working on right now, like different uh, varietals? Currently, uh, we're products developing for fall, so um, we'll see. It's the yeah. elderberry we're trying to figure out. The elderberry is the one now, but you have any other in the on deck? Yeah, and then also the Damiana, and as I just said, the, the rose petal rosé, but there's so many different herbs and botanicals. Yeah. Uh, this, this tradition is out of a field called herbalism, okay. which is the ancient study of how plants and herbs heal. Yeah. And I'm sure you've heard of an herbalist. It's yes. usually an older woman you go to and you tell her your ailment yeah. and she'll prescribe to you. China has one on every corner. Well, but she, like, I don't know if that's the impetus for the wine, but like you went down, because I stalk you, went like mm -hmm. a whole, because she was having like, you know, like aches and ailments or whatever. Yeah. And so she decided ah. to go natural. And so she was looking in the herbs and looking all this stuff up. And then that sparked other things. And then, you know, yeah. so she got like, she go when she goes down rabbit holes, yeah. I'm telling oh, you, yeah. I have she gets degrees. I have something right? for you. <laughs> I have something for you. You might want to think about on the marketing side. You might've thought about it already for the rose petals. So when I went to Italy, I went, took this tour and I noticed that there was rose gardens all along vineyards. Did you notice that in Napa? There's rose yeah. gardens everywhere because it, the roses good. grow in the same soil as as grapes. They grow very well. So oh, during. Yeah. Beautiful. So I asked about the I don't know how this came together, but I asked about the rosary because I'm not Catholic, but yes. a, a rosary is made out of rose petals. Did you know that? Yeah. Understand. Original rose rosaries were yeah. made out of rose petals, compacted, compacted into little balls. Huh. So every oh, every wow. bulb is a rose. They're rose petals and they still sell them right. in Italy. Uh, you know, at the Pope's house. Huh. But it if you special. that would be called the Vatican. Did, if the, the Vatican, Pope's yeah. house. The Pope's okay. house. The Pope's crib. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the Pope's crib. Cool. Okay. But if you did that one rose one and you did a special one with the rosary hanging around that is it. Beautiful. What I a love story. The way you think. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of. Nice. He's like. I have idea. He's like Cliff like Clavin. Yeah. He's like a Cliff Clavin of sorts. Yes. You're a true you entrepreneur. That? But like Clavin. in a good, the in mind a good of an way. Entrepreneur. What, yeah. is, what is the Cliff Clavin now? You don't watch Cheers? You never saw Cheers? I'm not too young for that. Okay, Cliff Clavin like sat at the bar next to the chubby guy who was okay, yeah, Norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had all the facts. Like he oh, always okay, had okay. random. Oh, yes. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, our resident random. Cliff. <laughs> yeah, Cliff Clavin. Tell everybody your Instagram. Sure, my Instagram is just my name. It's Nana Merriweather. And I tried to make it... Um, entertaining it uh, is. And, and, and educational so yeah. i'll make it fun but i usually teach people on the sly that's, like i'll post good. a really like sexy like, picture but meanwhile the caption's like you're learning something the, okay. so i trick you into learning my favorite <laughs> portion of her life which is a television show for me is her burning man issues <laughs> Oh, oh yes. you're a Burning Man fan? When she I, went to Burning I, I Man, to Burning Man. It was yes. like you were there with her yeah. because yeah. I like, really want to. I really want. Have you been? I've never been. To I Burning really want to go, but I have a. I'm a. I I'm very OCD. Mm -hmm. Like I have to take three showers <laughs> uh, a day, and you don't yeah. take a shower there, right? There's no showers. There's, yeah, you forget your name by Thursday. <laughs> it's an experience that's super deep. It's changed my life. Like yeah. some of my best friends now are burners. And you know, there even even you know like the burner? CEO of burners, Google. The only reason he was hired was because he had gone to Burning Man. So even the people who go are these like high functioning people, and especially oh, tech, I, I mean, I know a lot of friends. I know a lot of really intelligent people that go, artists that go. But yeah, it's the, artists. It's the. I guess I did. Um, what do you? What is the other one? Uh, Coachella. I know it's nothing close yeah. to Burning Man, not but I, no, I did. I did. A, I brought my food truck to Coachella, mm -hmm. and I oh. was there for two weeks, and I was lucky because I had a house across the street. But watching yeah. some of these people 
that came to our truck regularly not mm. take a shower mm. because they ran out of <laughs> water <laughs> or mm. they you know and you could smell them from a mile away i have a very, very like, strong take nose. Your food. <laughs> yeah but just because of that uh. i thought oh man i don't know if i could do burning Man. no i yeah. knew a guy like you who went to burning man and they literally like it changed he was an ocd person and once he let it go and he got there yeah. then he got hooked and then he like you it's like being he was like it's like you get called back to the place you came from correct yeah it is very much yeah. an emotional you're either one of us or you're not but what if i'm a sensitive yeah. skin person it doesn't matter once get you get there and when, I need to sleep. once you're there you don't even know like, <laughs> i'm telling you it's just another place. it's a uh, consciousness yeah. plane yeah. and you like yeah. it's almost buddhist in a way where you let go Perhaps. of your all of your senses you don't worry yeah. about the things you used to worry about and you're so collectively okay, connected go. Let's go. I, I don't. I don't understand it. Okay, so let's I don't want to like. Engage. Let's go for one day. We'll get a helicopter. We'll, we'll hire a helicopter. If you go yeah. for one day. You're gonna want to stay. Yeah, that's the thing. Everyone's yeah. like, we'll go for one yeah. day, but no. You and I've the seen it. Thing. I've seen it through her eyes, and I've seen it through the way they do it, and then I've seen it through like the rich people from San Francisco who like right. rent RVs yeah. and dip their yeah. toe in, but then go back and yeah. have caviar. You know what I mean? And yeah. It's a very different experience. So what are you? Are you in a tent? Are you doing it in a? Oh yeah, camp? my first year I went on in a tent. I found a plot of land i had like peanuts for the week it was straight survival mode but as i said that's like the entrepreneur yeah. spirit and a lot of the fabric of the people who go it's these like high functioning people who want to live and um I'm just drawn to that kind of lifestyle of also being inspired by all the creativity around yeah there's so yeah. much randomness and art and you know community and love it's palpable. and your outfits were on point oh, yeah. i might add and you're gonna dress I, up. <laughs> I might add i feel like yeah. you're probably the only miss usa who's gone to burning man i might be overstepping sure. my However, my bounds here where did you have... where did you grow up nana I grew up in the DC area, so okay. I went to- That's why I said whole... DC, I thought she was from, yeah. Because yeah, her family is very deep in the roots there, yes? Yeah, so yeah, actually I, I went to the same school that you know Chelsea Clinton went to, uh -huh. Al Gore's son was in my sister's grade, the Obama daughters went there. Chappelle the went there? The Did... Nixons and Roosevelt's, no. sorry? David Chappelle's from DC, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he didn't go to that school. You're talking about Sidwell, is it Sidwell? Sidwell Friends, oh, yeah. Okay. It's like the Punahou mm -hmm. of DC. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Yeah. I don't know how we ended up there, but somehow yeah. we got in. I think these days, I don't know. It's extremely hard to get in there. Yeah, I, Sidwell yeah. is like, it's a very, yeah. it gives a very upper echelon. Yeah. Well, I got in in kindergarten, so. Yeah. I don't She's a lifer. She's a Sidwell <laughs> lifer. Well, congratulations <laughs> on everything that you're doing and uh, that Thank you're you. going to do. Because I, you. I, I can, that. can tell you, you're just the motivated person. I love yeah. it. Yeah, and I then when, the good thing about Lanai is, and I don't say this very often, so take notes, Hawaii. Um, he when he says he's gonna do something he does it so when he says he's oh. gonna do the pop-ups with yeah. you in San oh. Fran like get out your eye calendar and like figure Don't out worry. a date because that's gonna happen and then when you come so here exciting. other than the dating part because we're gonna delete that out Kurt oh, um, right. then, <laughs> listen to her what a hater um, then like when you come here Nana, for real for real tell her to shut up what for a hater real, he will get you I'll in everywhere <laughs> no, no. We're going. We're not going to tell her. Nope. You're I know. Going. We're now new friends. I'm you're taking you to the best restaurant. Out. You're not. You know what? You know why, Nana? She's she's hating because every time she introduces me to somebody, Here I become go. friends with them, and she gets a little jealous. Yeah, you don't date but, any but of my friends. But wait a minute. Though. I didn't say I was dating her. Okay. I'm just going to take her out to dinner, <laughs> and then and then when I introduce her to my friends, they become good friends. I don't say nothing. Oh. I'm happy for them. Yeah, it's cross pollination. You guys, <laughs> good. That's a good way to put it. Not, I'm looking forward to trying your wine. Please follow her on Thank Instagram. You. Are you on Facebook too? No, she's yes, too all young. the things. You're, okay, all the things. Are you on Twitter? Yes. All right, Clubhouse. Follow, club. Oh, you're on Clubhouse I'm not on too. TikTok. I don't know. I'm too yeah, old. Yeah, I don't like TikTok, TikTok either. TikTok's so like not you, us. You gotta dance or something. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. You are awesome. Congratulations Yay! on your new wine. I look forward to, uh, to having it. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the mm -hmm. like button, and mahalo for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. It's a